Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, people are still trickling in. I heard the traffic was not so great in Half Moon Bay this morning, but uh, we should have a good full day today. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I'm asking, it's going to be kind of a tight schedule. We've got a lot of 20 minute talks. We've got some five minute sponsor talks. We're going to go boom, boom, boom. But yet we have also carved out some time uh, in the middle for reflection, for walks, uh, for things like that. At noon, uh, we will take a two hour break, but, but during the two hour break, you can go take a walk in the harbor, go off, do that. Um, but also you could, uh, we are going to have some exercises. Amy and Matt are going to run some rapport exercises and uh, some speed networking uh, to practice. Uh, I've asked all the speakers today, well actually let's first let's thank our sponsors. This wouldn't have happened without the sponsors, it all came together. Um, I'm going to talk to my sound guy, do I need to be closer? I'm working on my mic technique um, now that I'm doing more podcasting. <laughs> so, um, uh, but this isn't going to look good for the live stream, so I'm going to stand back up. Here we go, now I got my Vegas on. Um, couldn't have happened without the sponsors. Uh, most of them will be with us here today. Uh, we actually just got word that Joe Onisic is feeling sick. So uh, I'm not sure if Cisco's going to be with us, but uh, we'll have a little word from them as well. And uh, obviously the community. So I've asked the speakers here to tell a little story, to talk in terms of stories today, to uh, share stories about people, and also to share cute animal pictures. Um, so I'm going to tell a little story about. Um, about my history and about the V-Expert program and kind of some of the reasons we came here today and some of the reasons I pulled this show together. The, when we first started the V-Experts, actually, I, I think I did the whole community a disservice because we thought it was uh, an online program. I worked for the corporate marketing department, which is now part of the digital marketing department. We thought it was an award program where we would award things to people and then we would market to them. And we thought it was about bloggers, because we thought it was about getting our message out. So we did this. We started it in 2009. With, uh, I sent out 300 invitations. Actually, only about 150 people responded. So actually, that first year was actually smaller than we let on. Uh, and now it's grown to over 1,000 people. And it's a, it's a different beast. But we did notice, I think now, in retrospect, I had it all wrong. It's not an online program. It's a program that combines online and offline. Uh, the both of them are synergistic and they work better with each other, like that. Uh, if it's just online, something's missing, and if it's just offline, it's just a lot of you know seminars and, and bad chicken dinners at hotels. Um, it's uh, it's not about bloggers. It's much more about all those bloggers, all those people that uh, oh they're the bloggers, and somehow I think people thought that they were all you know in their underwear in their parents' basement or something. Oh, Troyer takes care of the bloggers. You know, including Alessandro was like, Alessandro is the first person that they they said, Alessandro would do something wrong and, and I would get blamed for it. Like, <laughs> like what? Can, can you control him? And they were right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so it's really not about the blogger. The bloggers that I snuck in to VMworld in 2006 and seven became speakers in seven, eight, and nine, and then had the highest rated sessions. And now they're all principals and office of the CTO and they're running things. So they all had jobs. They were all part of the ecosystem. So as we ran this, um, and it certainly wasn't about awards too, because it was about people connecting with each other. And over and over again, we heard from the V experts that, yes, the award was nice and it was good to have on your resume and you put it on LinkedIn and, you, and, and that helped. But it was the, the chance to connect with the others that was the real advantage of the V-Expert program and the real thing that they got out of it. And the, and the thing that we started to notice as we ran the program that this was actually supercharging the careers of the people that were inside of it. And that's how I got started to get interested in the career story and the professional part of IT and enterprise technology. Because that's a really interesting thing. And as we saw yesterday in our unconference and as we talked about last night, you know, uh, there is a career path that involves social and open source and sharing and writing and book writing and uh, uh, blogging and making videos and things like that. But it doesn't quite seem like a journalist or analyst uh, career path. It doesn't seem quite the same. Certainly it is reflective of the last generation of people who spoke at conferences and wrote books, right? People have been doing that for a long time, but somehow it seems a little bit different. And we're all kind of discovering that path as we move forward. 
So I tell my clients now, um, they come to me and say, oh, I want a blogger program. And I say, well, you don't want a blogger award online program. You want something that's online and offline. You want an ecosystem program. And you, you, people are giving you their attention. The people in this room, I'm so grateful for, you are giving us your attention. The people that are listening to the live stream, you're giving us your attention. That's so valuable. We are so busy. Every time a vendor, I mean, you could watch vendor webinars all day long for, for, for 24 hours a day if you really wanted to. So that attention that you give to people is super valuable, is so precious. Um, and I feel super privileged that at VMware, people gave us their attention and we were able to put them in a room together in a virtual room together, uh, so that they could help each other. So anyway, that, that, and we started to do the Geek Whispers podcast, we started to talk more about careers, I started to realize this thing was actually kind of interesting. So that kind of brings us to today. And, um, you know, the three threads that we just kind of pulled out of the air are, we all want to be able to do work that matters. We all want to be able, we do want to work that matters, we want to do work that matters. We want to do work we care about. We want to be able to work for a long time. We want to, if we are technologists, we realize that that career and that enjoyment is not just based on technology. We love technology, we love tinkering, we love building, but also we realize that uh, we are in the world of humans and we are social animals and we have to know about how companies work and how people work and what people like and don't like and how we get along with each other and how our network is really one of our most valuable resources. And then finally, and, and we have to know how to talk to people who are not techies, right? We have to be able to talk to executives. We have to be able to talk to analysts and think like analysts. And then finally, you know, we are in a career enterprise infrastructure, specifically an enterprise technology in general and technology as a whole. We have come from a profession where we start at a help desk and take tickets, and then we get a little more senior and we are, uh, we get requirements documents and we perform, okay, I, there's the, and we do the data center architecture off of a requirements document. And so we have a lot of stuff coming to us and saying, okay, do this, do this, do it this way. And we say, okay, well, here's the solution to your problem. But I think in this era with so much, you know, disruption and all this other, these other uh, cliched words, uh, there is a huge amount of change happening and we have to realize that this is an engineering profession. This is an engineering, this is a, this is a career that, uh, full of creation. Uh, this is a discipline. This is a uh, this is a profession, and that we have to be creators and we have to get stuff done. Uh, you can think of it like an engineer. I'm going to build a bridge. If you were, you know, Gustav Eiffel, you know, he was both a creator and an engineer, right? If he wasn't both, the damn thing would have fallen down. Uh, we we also can be creative and we also can be entrepreneurs. So we're going to talk about all that today. Uh, starting companies, getting stuff done inside companies, how we think about IT, how we think about the role of IT and technology and business, um, and about how we think about communicating with others. So it's a whole grab bag. It made it actually very hard to explain both to people coming to Half Moon Bay and to the sponsors exactly what we wanted to get today. So I am asking you <laughs> to help us as we go through the day to kind of think about what exactly are we talking about? Uh, how could you boil it down? You know, what, what do we want to create here uh, with this tech reckoning community and the opportunity we've been given uh, in our careers and in our lives to come together? So uh, that's kind of my spiel. I really appreciate it, uh, you guys all coming. And uh, I think I had one more story, but that's enough. That's good. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll kick it off.